Hey everyone, it's Jimmy from James's Hobby Zone. All right guys, here's the finished product of the Trumpeter 148 scale FW200C4. Now, while I was working on this, I did make a few mistakes that uh, made it uh, there, made it where there wasn't uh, good fit issues. There was fit issues, but it was on my, it was my fault. I was actually rushing a little bit on this model, but then I ended up taking my time after that. So that's why if you look really carefully, I got some chipping effect going on, exhaust stains from the engines, chipping effect on the props, and then we have the antennas. Now in the directions, it states that it that the, the small antennas that go there and on the back are not in, they're not in the, um, they're not shown. But doing my research on the aircraft, I ended up finding out that yes, those antennas were there. Uh, I'd say if we, you are going to be doing this model, if you have it in your kit, it's if you do eight hours a day on it, you could probably knock this whole entire model out in a matter of a week. Uh, but if you take your time with it, with all the weathering and masking and, and doing all the painting i'd say doing maybe two or three hours a day you probably do about maybe a month month or two so i mean it took me about a year to do this one because i did stop with it and then i did it up again but uh so and then i finally finished it the the in, the decals were very well i liked how they were uh, Trumper did a very nice job with the decals. Uh, I believe it was Trumpeter's own decals. They weren't they weren't that uh, the Italian company. Uh, I don't even remember that Italian company for the decals. But <clears throat> uh, overall, I it's a it's the light green. It's the German green with the German black green. Uh, color scheme uh, I was going to try to do a wash on it but for some reason the wash that I was using I, I think I was doing it wrong I, I uh, try to figure it out again because I tried it in certain spots and it wasn't filling in the little rivets as you can tell the little rivets that are right there wasn't filling it in so I don't know if maybe I was doing something wrong or not so but this is it this is the FW200 Condor from Trumpeter. Uh, I really liked how it went together. Uh, other than the few mistakes that I made. Um, you can tell by when you're looking inside the cockpit too much. That if you do any uh, interior on it. Uh, you really can't see any of the uh, detail that's on the inside of the aircraft at all. So I would recommend that if you are going to try to do the uh, detail on the inside, try to see if you can throw some kind of like LED lighting in it so it would light it up, that you'd be able to see the inside. Uh, I mean, I, I really have no issues with it other than the issues that I caused myself with uh, the bottom of the aircraft when trying to fit the wings together. Uh, it is kind of slightly flimsy, so you might be able, you might have to beef it up a little bit. Uh, but this is it. You can see where I made flat tires. I forgot to paint that one tire, but that's all right. No one's gonna see that. All the weathering at the bottom of the exhaust stains, and then we have the gun emplacement, the gondola, all the engines. So, yeah, I mean, overall, the model is really well. Actually, I just realized that I never painted the the lights that go on the uh, the indication lights. I didn't paint those, so I got to make sure I get those painted before I uh, complete this model all together, but that's fine. But, yep, all chipping effect on, on it. I mean, overall, it's a really good model. Uh, landing gear not too bad I mean you can see how the landing gear is 
from looking at it outside. You see how the landing gear is? It's kind of weird, but I guess that's how Condor made it. Uh, the wheel wells itself, uh, look at the landing gear inside. Uh, it's not really too much of a detail on the inside, so I mean, you guys can try detailing on the inside if you like. And it's whatever preference you'd like to have. So, but you can see right there, see how, because I rushed it, the little detail that's kind of messed up on it. And me just not really taking my time like I should have, but I did take my time after that. And it's just stuff that I couldn't, I couldn't fix. So, but in general, that is the overall finished look of the Condor. You can see from my display or my side table how big it is so i would suggest if you are going to display it hang it from the wall if you can with little hooks or if you have one of these one of these display cabinets like that it actually fits right on top of there so if you have one of these, you can put it right on top of there with the rest of them. And that would be the best thing for you to do to display the Condor. And Trumper did a really nice job with it. I like it. And I didn't have any other problems with it. Uh, the weathering is from the... Uh, Tamiya weathering kits that uh, they have. Uh, the chipping is more of the chipping effect is more of like silver paint on a paintbrush that I was doing, just tapping it lightly with the paintbrush. Uh, did a little bit of obviously you can see it did a little weathering effect as if the ice and rain was hitting the nose of the aircraft, chipping it there. So this aircraft actually has two uh, 120 millimeter machine machine cannon on the front, on the top door, turret dorso. Everything else are uh, small uh, MGs on the back, and there's one MG in the on the front on the front dorso for the gondola. I mean, I don't know if you guys heard all that because I did pull the phone away from my face. But yeah, uh, overall the kit's really well. I like how it came out. I hope you guys like it too, because I'm proud of it. And I'm hoping that uh, hopefully in June, when we do, or uh, in August, when we do the IPMS uh, USA Internationals in uh, San Marcos, hopefully I'll be able to bring, hopefully, if they don't cancel it, I'll be displaying this in the competition because I am doing a German theme, German aircraft theme. So as soon as I'm done here, I'll start finishing up with uh, my other projects and start on my ME262 next. Or maybe I might start up on my ME109. I don't know yet. I got too many kits. I got too many, well, too many choices right now. I wish I had some more choices, but that's fine. But that's it fellas hope you like the video and i hope you like how the condor came out um i'm still getting used to doing this uh i think uh i think they have a head uh a headband that you could attach the phone to so while i'm working with my hands i could uh, work on it but yep uh, this is the maritime condor so it was doing all the uh cargo cargo ship hunting with the u-boats uh, all right guys i'm gonna head on out right now i try to keep them at least 10 minutes i haven't done a 20 minute video yet i didn't think i deserve a minute video yet. but hopefully uh soon we'll all get together and uh hopefully uh, i'll be able to uh complete some more aircraft and show you what's going on all right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.
What a beautiful, gorgeous day.